All right, guys, welcome to another video. I'm making this video to kind of explain how I get the sound out of all my devices. I know a lot of you have been writing comments about how do I get the sound out of the projector? Because to be honest, the projector speakers, pretty much all of them, have very, very horrible sound coming out of them. There's no bass. So you always, always want to connect an external speaker to it. I got a sound bar right here. And I also have computer speakers that I use when I use devices like the iPad. So I'm going to show you guys how I get the sound out of my devices. I'm not a sound expert, but I'm going to show you how I do it for the things that I have. All right. And hopefully this will help you guys out. I don't have a surround sound, so I only use the things that I've got right now. All right. So we've got a sound bar and we have computer speakers. So let me show you what's up. Alright guys, so here is my Blu-ray player and this is my small soundbar. Both of these are really, really old. I think I got them back like in 2008. So they're really old. Um, now I'm going to show you the back. So this is the back of both of these devices. As you can see, here's my soundbar. I don't have an HDMI input in this soundbar. So how do I get the noise? How do I get the sound out? I use an aux cable, which is right here. So here's the aux cable connection right here. This came with the sound bar. And it turns into this analog with the two colors, red and white. And so what I do is I connect this to my Blu-ray right here. And that's how I get my Blu-ray sound. And then I just connect this Blu-ray with the HDMI cord, I connect it here and onto the projector, and that's how I get sound out of this thing right here. But I can't do that with the PS4 or my iPad. So for that, I use a different speaker, computer speakers. And so right here, this is a cheap $6 Walmart aux cable, um, audio cable right here. And I tried to connect this from right here, from the aux input right there to the projector um, to get the uh, the iPad sound out, but it didn't work. I'm guessing it's because this thing right here is really cheap. That's what I'm guessing. All right, guys, so here we have the fire stick. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the fire stick. I'm gonna connect it, and then I'm gonna show you how I get the sound out, okay? So right below here is my sound bar but I don't use my sound bar uh, because for some reason it doesn't work. Um, this is a really, really cheap sound bar. Um, it doesn't have an HDMI input, so I would have to use my aux cable, my audio aux cord that I connect to this and then connect it onto the projector. But the problem is that doesn't work either. I'm guessing it's because I have a really, really cheap aux cord, aux cable. I'm guessing that's the reason why. So how do I get around that? I don't use the sound bar, but I do use these down here. These are my computer speakers uh, with the subwoofer and these do the job. Um, so whenever I use a fire stick, I use these right here. And these have an aux cable or an aux cord that comes with it. And then I simply connect that to the back of the projector. And I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two HDMI ports, one and two. And then I have these two for sound. This is the AV and this is the headphone jack. I'm gonna connect this, which is the uh, computer speaker cord, onto the uh, headphone jack. And that's how I'm gonna get the sound out of the Fire Stick. So now I'm gonna connect the Fire Stick, all right? So here is the Fire Stick. I'm gonna connect it to the HDMI 2 port right here. All right, so it's connected. This is the computer speakers right here. This is the Fire Stick. And this thing right here is the DVD. This is the DVD, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and computer speakers, all right? All right, guys, so as you can see, we just connected the Fire Stick to the back and we connected the computer speakers 
So now I'm gonna use a controller and I'm gonna turn this on real quick. I'm gonna turn on the projector. All right, I'm gonna turn this around real quick. So as you can see, the first thing that pops up is the fire stick, the fire stick menu. All right, it says we don't have any internet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my uh, hotspot so we can get some internet all right all right guys so i just connected the internet so we're good to go so let's see if we can get some sound so there you go the sounds coming out of the speakers i'm not using the projector speakers because they really really suck there's no bass um they're just loud so i'm using the computer speakers that i just showed you right now all right, now let's check this out. So here are a few uh, ads or commercials or whatever. And it sounds pretty good to me. So that's how I got the sound out. All right, now. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the uh, projector menu. So we're on HDMI 2, which is a fire stick. We're going to go over to the green. Go back. Here's the green one. This is HDMI 1. Click on it. And over here, I've got the Blu-ray player connected. There's nothing playing because I don't have any movies playing. So that's HDMI 1. And... Here's HDMI 2. This is the Fire Stick. And you can hear their sound coming out from the uh, computer speakers, not the projector speakers, because those suck. All right. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use my iPad here. Let me focus this real quick. All right. So let's go to movies real quick. And as you can see, I got a movie playing here. Um, I usually just buy movies off of iTunes as well, and then I just download them, and then I can watch them right out of the projector. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. In order to do this, um, of course, first you have to have something downloaded, or if you have internet, you know, you can stream it. But uh, I'm gonna give you an example right now. This movie right here. All right, I have this movie downloaded right now. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to project this onto the projector, okay? So this is what we're going to do. So in order to do that, you have to have this adapter right here. This is the Apple, I think it's called Lightning to HDMI cable. I think that's what it's called. I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, it says HDMI right on there. So as you can see, here's the HDMI input right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the HDMI cable to this thing right here. And then the other end is going to go to the projector, all right? And then this end here is going to connect to the iPad. So let me show you what that looks like real quick. All right, guys. So here is the other end of the HDMI cable. It's connected to the projector already. So I'm going to connect this to it right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So there you go. This thing is connected. So now I'm going to connect the other end to the iPad, all right? All right, so it's connected, right? So here's the iPad connected. Here's the HDMI connected. And then the other end is connected to the back of the projector, okay? So let me show you what that looks like now. All right, guys, so as you can see, here is the iPad right here. It's already connected. Here is the HDMI, which is already connected to the back here of the projector. My projector um, has two HDMI ports, number one and number two. All right, so now we haven't connected the sound yet, but I'm going to show you um, what it looks like first. All right, so let me go ahead and turn this projector around. All right. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's already connected. Um, we just connected it. So now I'm going to turn this on real quick. Uh, I'm going to turn on the projector. All 
right? So there's no external speaker connected to it right now. I just wanted to show you the image. So as you can see right there, the iPad is on. So check this out. I'm going to turn this around real quick. Uh, there it is, right on the screen right there. Hello. So it's on the screen now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to press play. And you should get something that comes up like that. So this is going to be all dark, but the image is going to be on the projector. All right. So leave that there. Let me turn this around. And there it is. There's the movie playing right there. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, there's no volume. So I'm going to go ahead and crank up the volume. This is a projector controller right here. So I'm going to crank up the volume. And this is just the projector sound. This this is not an external speaker. All right, so it's at full blast right now. So as you guys can hear, the sound really, really sucks. Let me put it next to the uh, projector right here. All right, so... Danny Pedrosa excelled on the smaller bikes, winning three titles. Alright guys, so as you can hear, the sound really, really sucks coming out of the projector. So you always, always want to connect an external speaker to it. Now, I'm not a professional with sound. I mean, I don't know much about sound at all, really. But I'm going to show you how I do it, how I connect the sound to my devices. And hopefully that will help you guys out, alright? So let me show you uh, what I use to connect to get the sound out of the projector, all right? All right, guys, so the sound is coming out of the projector right now. We've got the iPad uh, playing right here. So the movie's playing. Uh, all we can hear is the projector sound right now, but it sucks. There's no bass in it. It's loud, but it has zero bass, so it's not very, very good sound quality. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect an external sound system here so as you can see here I have a sound bar right here the problem is this is a really really cheap sound bar and I don't have an HDMI input in this sound bar I do have an aux aux cable input which I could connect to the back I already tried that but it doesn't work maybe because my aux cable is a really really cheap cable but I have another solution to this. I don't use the sound bar. What I do is I use these speakers right down here. These are computer speakers with a sound woofer here. Um, they're pretty good. And of course, this gives me way more bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to the back of the projector. All right. So let me show you. So this is the cord right here. This is like the little aux cable. Um, or I think it's called RCA but uh, this is connected to this speaker here so let's go ahead and connect this to the back alright guys so we're gonna connect this uh, computer speaker cable to the back here as you can see we have an AV connection and we have a headphone jack here uh, I'm gonna connect it to the headphone jack alright so there it is as you can hear, there's no more sound coming out of the speaker right here. So I'm going to turn on the speakers down below and see if we can get some sound. So let's turn this on. All right. Motorcycle racing is there a display go. of dangerous brilliance. So now I've got some bass going on here and this is what I use to get the sound out of the projector when I connect my iPad. All right. Now I'm going to show you something else that I do with my iPad. Okay. So there's the movie right there. And of course I got bass now. So that solved that problem. I don't have to use the projector volume because it has no bass at all. Um, so now what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you something else that I do with my iPad, which is really, really cool. All right, check this out. All right guys, so I just showed you 
how I watch my movies um, from iTunes and how I get the sound out. Now I'm going to show you something else that's pretty cool that I use uh, with the uh, iPad. Check this out real quick. So I'm going to get out of this. All right. So as you can see, let me turn this around. There's the menu, just like our screen here. All right, so we're gonna scroll over. I got this app called Metafire, uh, which is pretty, pretty awesome. You guys can read comics out of this thing, as you can see right there. So here's the app right here. It says that you don't have any internet. I'm not connected to the internet. But I still have books that I have downloaded here, which I bought. So I'm going to show you real quick what this looks like. These are called motion comics, which are pretty, pretty awesome. And it's especially awesome when you get to see them on the big screen. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. Check this out. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is the main menu right here from the iPad. We're going to go down to this app at the very bottom right called Metafire. And this is a comic book app. And as you can see, all these comic books right here, um, I purchased. They're like two bucks or something like that. But these are motion comics, which are pretty, pretty sick. Um, let's go with this one. All right. So there's going to be sound coming out of this in motion. This is pretty cool. Watch. So let's check this out. And this is just another really awesome way to read these comics. Check this out. So that's pretty sick right there. All you do is tap, tap the iPad, and then it'll go down to the next little screen there. So as you read along, it moves, which is pretty sick. Just keep tapping, keep reading. It's got some pretty cool sound effects. So here we go. This is just an example here. So all I'm doing here is just reading and tapping uh, for the next clip. And you can hear the sound coming out. This is pretty sick. This is an awesome, awesome way to read comic books. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you this real quick. This is an awesome, awesome way to read comic books. Um, it's just another thing you can do on the projector. And this is why I recommend you guys get a projector. I mean, they're so awesome. There's so many things that you guys can do with them. And this is one of them right here. Uh, so as you can see, I can watch movies from my iPad. And I can read comic books, which is pretty, pretty awesome. guys and as you can see I am still using the speakers down here these are my computer speakers um, that have a sound woofer so I get some bass out of it which is pretty nice I'm still using this for the iPad for when I watch movies on the iPad or when I read the comic books on the iPad this is pretty cool all right so now we're gonna move to the PS4 all right, guys, so as you can see, this is my setup. I've got the PS4 at the bottom here, and I'm still gonna be using these speakers to get the sound out of the PS4 and onto the projector. And how am I gonna do that? I just simply connect the HDMI that comes from the PS4, connect that HDMI all the way up to the projector, and then with the uh, computer speakers that I have already connected back here, I'm gonna get the sound out. All right. All right, guys. So here are my inputs here from the projector. This is the PS4 uh, HDMI. So I'm going to connect it to the second HDMI port here. All right. So it's connected. This is the iPad and this is the PS4. And then this is the computer speakers, which are already connected here. So let's go ahead and turn this around. All right, guys, so you just saw me connect the uh, PS4. We're gonna be playing Dragon Ball. We're gonna be playing Dragon Ball Z Fighter. Um, you saw me connect the PS4 with the HDMI. 
and I'm still gonna be using these computer speakers down here with the bass. This thing is still connected to, to HDMI 1, and the PS4 is connected to HDMI 2 in the back of the projector. So let's go ahead and switch it on the main menu. All right guys, so I just connected the PS4 and as you can see, I still have the iPad connected here. The iPad is connected to the HDMI 1, the PS4 is connected to the HDMI 2. So I'm gonna use the projector controller and I'm gonna go to the main menu. And as you can see in the green there, uh, we're in HDMI 1, let me go back. So we're gonna go to HDMI 2 and the PS4 menu should pop up. There it is. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Dragon Ball. And as you can hear a little bit, um, I'm still using the bottom speakers, the computer speakers. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so here we go. All right, we're gonna go with Vegeta, uh, Gohan, and Android 18. This stage looks pretty sick. That was sick. That was sick. All right, guys. So I hope that helped you out a little bit. Um, I usually just use what I got. As you can see, I have a very outdated sound bar. If you're gonna get a sound bar, get one with HDMI imports. Mine doesn't have any. I have that aux cable that connects analog to my Blu-ray player. Also, when I use my iPhone for like music, I use the little cheap Walmart $6 aux cable and I connect it to the sound bar, so that works. But if I try to connect the sound bar to the projector with that little cheap $6 Walmart aux cable, it doesn't work. So that's why I have the computer speakers, when I use the Fire Stick and the iPad and the PS4, as you guys saw right there, all right? So I highly recommend you guys get a better sound bar if you're gonna go the sound bar route or get a surround sound. Um, also, get a projector that has more imports. I mean, this is just what I got. You guys could get a way better projector. This is like an entry level projector right here. So it's up to you guys what you're gonna do. But I hope this video helped you out. This is how I get the sound out of my devices. All right, guys. Peace out. Go watch some movies. Get some popcorn. Peace.